Yo, yo, what's going on everyone? What's going on? We're looking at another day in the market. This is Wednesday hump day, first day of May, May 1st, 2019. Let's get it going. So we have another serious, very nice day ahead of us in the markets. We're looking at a number of stocks on watch. Uh, yesterday, we spy had a little bit of a, uh, as it always does, it had that Monday break over last year's high. So you saw a little bit of a pullback. Found a little bit of uh, support in the high 291s, then went uh, red to green midday, closing just a couple couple cents above uh, the open. Uh, that being said, obviously we got uh, we got four stocks going into our watch list on this session. Uh, we have a couple new candidates here, a couple a couple continuations. So let's see if we the markets can give us some opportunities to step in and uh, put on a position and see if we can manage our risk properly and head it to the downside like we always do. All right, guys, let's uh, start off with uh, BURL. BURL, as you can see, um, is on his, uh, what, fourth down day. Not sure it's found it's found uh, its support yet. I think it wants to fill this gap a little bit. I'd like it to come more points to the downside. It's Burlington Coat Factory at the end of the day. Anybody in the States knows what this company is. Been around for quite a while, but nonetheless, like any other of these department stores, I think they're getting squeezed, right? I'm not sure this this company deserves to be at this elevated price. And I could see this thing slowly kind of dissipate. I know they have some new CEO in action um, trying to do some movement as far as management is concerned. But uh, that being said, you know, I'm not sure this thing is stopping just yet. Still, like a couple more points to downside. So we're going to watch this thing closely, see if it gives us some opportunities to step in and take it down. Uh, after the dust settles in the morning and uh, anything below view up we like it next up NBIX NBIX as you can see has been in it's a downtrend since what mid March I mid April and uh, crashing below its 50 days and you know fading out you know went right through its uh, relative strong support in March so the next uh, support that we like is uh, that you know the low to mid 67 level uh, so obviously it gives us a nice uh, nice chunk to the downside to enjoy. There's nothing in that uh, we're seeing anything that's going to stop this thing in the meantime. So it is showing some weakness. Healthcare sector's been up and down lately, so we're going to keep an eye on this thing. And again, it gives us some opportunities to the downside. We'll step in and uh, let all that manipulation the market makers put on in the morning. And once it fades out, if it fades out, we'll step in and manage risk as we do. RGEN. RGEN obviously has that run up a couple days ago and ran into its uh, resistance back from back uh, November 2018. And just like it did back then, pulled back quite hard. So this is uh, going into day two this morning to see if it's going to continue with this downside, you know, retracement. Obviously, it's not going to, you know, um, fill that complete run up that it had um, from the uh, high 50s. But uh, uh, definitely looking like it will retrace a couple more points. So if it does, if it's showing some some weakness below VWAP and VWAP holds, then we'll stick and start put a starter position on and see if we can maybe take this thing for a, a day or swing trade. Last up, TREX. TREX obviously had that gap down yesterday, um, closed uh, a little over seven points to the downside. Obviously, it closed on the high of its day, but not sure it is done just yet. Possibly, we'll see. You know, see how the market reacts to this thing. Wasn't too much action in the uh, market after hours last night, but um, uh, seeing this time and time again, you know, obviously you have this after you have a gap, it trades up, uh, tries to fill this gap, and then fades out day two below VWAP. So we'll see if it does this again. Um, if it does, you know, we'll definitely like it to that 65 level. So there's still some meat on the bone here. If if it cracks that uh, VWAP level and it cracks that low 69 um, low of the midday from yesterday. So, you know, obviously a lot of ifs, ifs then. And if it happens, then we'll do what we do. Uh, but we'll do what we do patiently. We always wait for our setups to come to us. Never chase anything. You chase, you die, as we always say. There's a couple other stocks, you know, had some action um, in uh, aftermarket last night. CHRW obviously coming down off that of its lows, of its uh, gap down, showing some more weakness. Not gonna have that. I mean, it's on our watch, but you know, kind of in the, in the back pocket, see how it's gonna react. 
uh, you know, we're going to have our, our, our eyes peeled a couple stocks, but those are the ones we got four going into our watch list, going into our session, and those are our top, and we'll see if anything else pops up. If not, those are the ones we're, we're looking at, and if any of these sets up and continues in, with our trade plan, we'll see if we have an opportunity to step in with our setup, and we'll take it down to the downside like we do. All right, guys, as always, stick to your stops. Stay diligent with your setups. Be patient. Let the price come to you. If you guys have any questions, want to see what we're doing here, want to see how we're putting in our, our uh, watch list together or how we're picking these stocks, come check out the site at thestreettrading.com and we will sort you out on that 90-day course. All right, guys, have a great day in the markets and we will check you later.